A common question I'm asked is what recording software I use, and whether I record everything I play, or just shadow record highlights. In this video I'll go through my recording settings and link helpful videos in the description that explain things better than I can do myself. I previously used Shadowplay to record all of my gameplay, but after some serious issues with lag and stuttering, I switched over to OBS. I use this for recording big play sessions, and I plan to use it for streaming as well, although I haven't really got round to that much. And as it allows me to record separate audio tracks, it's perfect for video editing. This means you can have your gameplay, your friend's voice, and your own voice in three separate audio tracks, and makes it really, really easy when you come to edit it. I have, however, recently come across another recording software that offers both the benefits of OBS and Shadowplay's shadow feature. This software is called Marillis Action. Unlike OBS and Shadowplay, Marillis Action could do everything all at once and also performs very well on low-end PCs, meaning everyone can record without a big impact on your frame rate. The links for Marillis Action will be put in the description down below if you want to try it. They do offer a trial, however you have to pay for the full version. Now I got in contact with some people at Marillis and they offered me some keys that I'm going to give away in the description down below. Just check out the link. We've done this before for giveaways, it's really simple, click on it, you can win one of these keys, all you have to do is just enter the giveaway, I'll be drawing it in a couple of days time, check out on my Twitter as well because that's where I'll announce it, then you can have the full version of Morelis Action, I've used it myself quite a lot, I've used it for some of my most recent recordings and I'm happy to say that it is working very well, they're developing it all the time, there's new builds coming out and there's new features as well which are really really awesome. Now once you've installed Morelis Action, it's not very difficult to do, you'll be presented with a really easy interface that's not very difficult to use at all. On the left hand side you'll be shown all your video recordings and a file location option. You just pick where you want to put it. It will show you at the bottom right hand of that little box how much space you've got. Really easy to do. You can open the output folder at the bottom as well. Simple. On the right hand side you have a load of tabs. The first one is the video recording tab. I'm going to screenshot now my settings. Feel free to copy these. It's really easy to do. At the bottom, you've got the time shift option. That is essentially the shadow feature that Shadow Play will offer you. And OBS does have an option as well, but it doesn't really work in my opinion. Now, the great thing about this is it's really simple. You just change the amount of time you want to record. The button's there in red, or it's kind of a pink red. You click that if you want this option available. Your microphone always record. Really simple. It's just like Shadow Play, but a slightly different looking interface. In the video recording options at the start, you do have four separate choices as well. You can choose between recording games and applications, active screen, and active desktop region. The fourth one, I think, is for HDMI capture devices like Elgato, game captures, stuff like that. Not something I use personally, but it's nice that it has that option. Again, if you move to the secondary tab, you have a live streaming tab. I don't use this. I mean, as you can see, my settings aren't set up. You can change that to, to 720, whatever you want to do. Most people stream in 720. Again, you've got your server, URL, stream key stuff. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube for this sort of stuff. It's not something that I'm going to get into. Again, I will link stuff in the description if that's what you're after. Now, the last tab, you're going to see general settings. In this, you have loads of stuff that you can play around with. Automatically check for updates and things like this are really nice features that Shadowplay doesn't have. And that is one of the most annoying things with Shadowplay is it will just update on its own. When I click on GeForce Experience, I want to have a look, maybe change some settings. It will just update the whole thing to a new version that might not even work. And that's why I've moved away from it, because the most recent versions were just stuttering. And you've seen it in my videos. It's really not a good experience at all. The other option, start application, minimize the tray. Very useful if you're using Realist Action every single play session. If you forget to turn it on, just click this and the application will load up on its own. There's another option down here, run action on Windows Start. Video quality, again, I have an ultra bit rate, 100%. Again, I'm going to have screenshots of all of this. You can check it out. I'll probably upload an album as well, so you can just click through. That will be linked in the description below. If you have a webcam, something that I haven't been using, but if you do, there's loads of options for that. You can chroma key or green screen, as many people call it, in the background. If you're streaming, really, really useful. You can do something similar in OBS, but it's far more complicated than this very, very simple and easy to use interface that they offer with Action. Something that I like to do is click allow multi-channel audio recording. This way you can have separate channels. Not something you can do with Shadowplay. Shadowplay records your Discord or your TS, whatever you're using, your own microphone and the game all in one channel. And it can be very difficult to get the balance right. With this, you're going to have your audio from game in one channel and your voice recording in the other channel. Microphone settings. Again, you can see I've got my microphone set to this. 
Rode NT-USB, volume 64, that's linked into your Windows settings that you'll see at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. The next option, record microphone into separate audio track. Of course, if you want a separate audio track, that's what you need to do. Audio balance, you can change your system sounds microphone. That's completely up to you. And then possibly the most important tab that you'll need to get used to are your hotkey settings. Now, it's very difficult when you've got Shadowplay, OBS, Amaryllis Action running at the same time, and you're playing a game such as Armour, or a game that requires lots and lots of keys on your keyboard. You're often hitting, I don't know, Control F3 or Control F1 and you're recording and recording screenshots and doing all sorts of rubbish. So this is something that is completely dependent on you. As you notice at the start, the default for time shift is left alt plus F9. You can change this if you want, but I think that's quite a nice one. It's fairly similar to what Shadowplay offer at the start. So if you're used to that, this is quite an easy one. Now for my OBS settings, this is a little bit different because I use OBS when I'm recording a full play session and file size isn't really an issue to me. I'm not bothered about having a time shift option for recording the last couple of minutes of gameplay. I just want to record an hour of gameplay and then spend a few hours editing it afterwards. So again, what I'm going to do for you is leave a load of screenshots for you because I know that's a lot easier than try to pause the video and look what I'm doing. There'll be screenshots on screen, but there'll also be an album down below in the description you can click. They're just my OBS settings. Settings are fairly easy in OBS, again, as long as you know where to look. Ones I'd focus on, uh, output in settings, make sure that you're clicking on streaming, recording, and audio check all three of them out. If you're looking for information on how to split audio tracks, I'm going to link that down in the description. Again, it's not that complicated, but I'm not going to talk about it for another five minutes. I'll just leave a video that I think explains it very well. I know Jatfrags did one a while back. I use Voice Meter Banana as my virtual audio cables solution. You can do it with other things. You can actually download audio cables from different places. You can use actual hardware to do it if you have a mixer. But for me, this is the easiest way, and it gives me three audio tracks, which is very, very useful. Hopefully you found this guide useful. If you did, please leave a like down below. We've gone through Marillis Action and OBS. Personally, I think Marillis Action offers the most. Again, as I said, I've got a giveaway down below for a couple of codes. It'd be really nice if you enter that, because I think the software is costing around £20, £25, which in the grand scheme of things isn't much if you're going to be using it every day. Shadowplay, not really the one that I like to focus on anymore since the stuttering issues, but I do have it running in the background, especially when I'm playing Battlefield, because if I record a clip and I'm like, damn, my OBS wasn't running, or my Marillis action wasn't running and I just forgot to set it up, I can just tap F10 and get it to work that way. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Shadowplay is also something to keep an eye on. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below and I'll catch you in the next episode.